time to go through the new releases. Um, we're running behind because we were at Niagara Falls Comic Con last week and we've been struggling to get everything caught up, all the orders, and uh, I think we've done it. All the orders are packed up aside from one and uh, new releases are now on the site and ready to go at 8 p.m. tonight, Tuesday, as they do every Tuesday. Um, let's start with DC, shall we? Wonder Woman, the latest from Tom King, number 10. Uh, Tom Taylor's Titans, number 12. We've got Nightwing, continuing that final run by uh, Tom Taylor again. My boy, John Constantine, number 6, Hellblazer, Dead in America. There's two covers, always two covers for this title, Mike Perkins. And Batman, ever so close to issue 150 for Volume 3, Zdarsky and Jimenez. Um, I do like the Del Otto variant. Who doesn't like a nice, uh, massive Bane figure? Uh, Batman Superman World's Finest, skimming through this book, makes me really, really want to read the series, and I just <laughs> never find time to read a lot of the new stuff right now, which is sad, but um, it is what it is. I will catch up. We do have a flight, um, so maybe I'll read some comics on the plane. Uh, here's the, the Zerdy variant, and I'm not usually a fan of Zerdy. Um, it's just not my style, but this is probably one of the better ones I've seen. I know it's an homage to the uh, animated series stuff, but like, I love how you can see uh, silhouettes of Harley and Ivy back there. Um, but yeah, I, I really think that's a good one. Catwoman, three great covers. Nakayama, um, Lynn, Ratched to Lynn. And uh, my favorite, Villa Lobos, very Adam Hughes-esque. Uh, and the final one is a facsimile for Crisis on Earth Infinite, Infinite Earth, number three. Um, we're getting low orders on those ones. I'm imagining that number seven will get uh, a little bit more. Um, we're going to go to the miscellaneous. We'll leave uh, Marvel for last, right? Cruel, Cruella DeVille, um, Sweeney Boo writing, and there's her cover. Um, she does not do the interior art, but uh, there was a delay on that. Um, I feel like this was supposed to be out a few months back. Uh, there's the cover B. You've got a 1 in 10 action figure dog variant. A bunch of different dogs. Um, I can't remember the cover artist, but there's another 1 in 10. And Sweeney Boo's 1 in 10 virgin. A little uh, surprise today. We got a one per store Powerpuff Girls Powerpuff Girls <laughs> Ashcan. Um, it's got a new series coming out soon. Vampirella 669. There's the Carla Cohen variant and the Ch Chatuis Chad Chatuis something like that it's variant. There's a butt on the cover. Butt sell it seems. <laughs> Um, Thundercats number five, that is the Nakayama, and we do have the, uh, Perillo variant. I like that Perillo. Uh, he was one of my favorite characters as a kid. Um, Rick and Morty. <laughs> Rick and Morty. We've got Wrath of Beth. I think I need to have a glass of water. Um, a new horror series, Into the Unbeing. Nope. Yep. Into the Unbeing. That's by, uh, I thought it was by Colin Bunn, but it's not. Looks pretty creepy. The Witcher number two, another mini series. And we get another Saturday morning adventures one shot with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi Ojimbo. My Little Pony, as always, two different covers. This is a new series called Maritime Mysteries, A and B. Uh, a new series by Greg Pack called Lawful. Um, skimming through this, and this actually looks really interesting. And you've got your one per store virgin variant. Ghost Lore, I don't know why we have this in, but here it is. It's the B variant. Um, I'm guessing it was an accidental order for us because we stopped bringing that on to the stands. Uh, Briar, number five, it's the second print variant. Amory Wars, number two, is out. There you go. Coheed and Cambria fans. Rebel Moon, number four. Yep, number four. The, uh, the series, the movie series on Netflix, I, I've only heard bad things, but usually I don't care what people say about things. Still would like to watch it. I'll give it a go after I read some comics. Uh, High on Life, number one, new series. I don't know anything about it. I don't remember a thing, a thing about it. That's the kind of funny thing. It only happened about a month ago. No memory of it, but we have a few copies. Uh, new Archie Horror, it's the Wicked Trinity. Uh, Sabrina spinoff, 
focuses on her arch rival. Um, Gun Honey. This second print is really good. I know it's just using the same image, but um, having all that yellow and the different colors, um, big fan of that one. Derek Chu. Um, image Comics, Sam and Twitch, number one, second print variant, McFarlane cover. Rat City, number one, third print, not a McFarlane cover. Misery, here's a first print. New series, four issue run, uh, Kudransky and McFarlane. And the McFarlane cover, we didn't know the image for it, and it's actually pretty good. It's like, it's, it's a good cover. Um, it looks not quite McFarlane. I don't know. And I think it's kind of funny they went backwards. So the first print was black and white, and the second print for Monolith is a color McFarlane. Spawn 354. Right now, we only have the B cover. Um, the A cover, Puppeteer, will be coming in, but I think people added it as uh, after we ordered and tapped out our copies for the stands. Um, we have more coming. Just got to wait a week or so. Here's another big one. Destro, number one. I've been enjoying these G.I. Joe things. And uh, we sold quite a bit of G.I. Joe at the Niagara Convention this weekend. There's the B cover. We've got our blank, if you want to draw or get someone to draw. You have the connecting cover, the color version, and the black and white. So if you want to connect these covers, you got to get Scarlet. Um, you got to get Void Rivals. you got to get Transformers. you got to get them all. Uh, the 1 in 10. There you go. Steve Epting's 1 in 25, a little uh, homage to the uh, action figures back in the day, and Sorrentino's 1 in 50. We didn't go as high as the two, 250 ratio. We couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. All right, Marvel Comics. Another reprint. Sixth print. Is it six? Sixth print for Ultimate Spider-Man number one. We got a nice uh, Scarlet Spider on there. Spider-Boy number eight has a first appearance of this guy. Uh, I think his name is the Puzzle Master. And we have more Scotty Young variants in this week. Wolverine, this came out last week. Um, we ran out of the A covers, but they showed up. So here you are They're in stock. And another one that hopefully is a hot one, Scarlet Witch. New series, starting with number one. And there are a bunch of different covers. I don't remember this artist's name. It's new to me. Um, but I really like that cover. Scotty Young, there you go. And who doesn't love a Frisma cover? She only does these uh, one-off covers from Marvel. For DC, she'll get like a cover run going, you know, 10, 15 issues. Uh, and you're one in 25, which is really good. I like that one a lot. Incredible Hulk, number 13. And you got your Scotty Young. Speaking of the Hulk, it's sitting right here. The latest trade paperback, volume two. So if you've been missing out, there it is. Um, Strange Academy, Blood Hunt number two is out. A lot of, a lot of Blood Hunt stuff this, uh, <laughs> this week. Uh, X-Men Jubilee, Blood Hunt number one. Um, there is a nice Momoko as a vampire, but I think Scotty Young should have done Jubilee and not Jean Grey. Um, I do like it, but should have been a Jubilee. Um, Spider-Man, Shadow of the Green Goblin, number three. I thought this was a three-issue series, but it's not. It's keep it's going. It's going to keep going. Um, the Hildebrandt variant. All right, Blood Hunt, number three. I've read number one and two, so yeah, I do read new comics. Um, number three is out. Uh, we've got the Peach Momoko variant. There is the Delato variant. There is the Red Band variant. And the one that's going to go right away, the 1 in 25 Red Band variant. These things are going for dollars, dollars, dollars. Um, God's number 8, the final issue of the series. Um, the trade should be coming out soon. Um, we'll bring it in. Deadpool, number 3. I thought I was, was going to say 2, but it's number 3. We've got our first movie variant. We've got the Hildebrand variant. We've got the Liefeld variant. This might be my favorite cover of the week. A little Super Mario homage. I, we didn't get heavy pre-sales on it, and um, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, second print for Deadpool uh, World, World War Three or Wade World Three Wolverine. 
Um, the second issue is also out, so you can jump in if you missed the first. And here is a facsimile. Um, the first print is, you know, some dollars, so it's hard for people to get. But here's a facsimile. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, Blood Hunt, number two. See, I told you there's lots of Blood Hunt stuff. I do like this Baron's cover. Goes a little sideways. Pretty fun, vampires. Miles Morales connects to the Blood Hunt. We got uh, Blade on the cover. And my favorite Scotty of the week, probably of the whole run, actually, maybe, um, Miles Morales. I met uh, the voice actor of Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse video, or movies, um, two days ago. Nice guy. Um, Shariq Moore, that's his name. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four, latest from Ryan North. Um, Alex Ross cover, Blood Hunt, High End. Scotty Young variant, there you go. Uh, Darth Vader, number 47, latest Star Wars. Avengers, Blood Hunt, tie-in. Lots of vampires. And they're Nazis. <laughs> Scotty Young variant. X-Men, heir of Apocalypse. One of these X-Men will be the heir to Apocalypse. But who? Um, I've been enjoying this series, number four, Ultimate X-Men. Um, I will hopefully get to this this week. And there is the one in ten. Um, that is it for the new releases. I think I got them all. Um, we did order in some more trades that showed up, like, uh, Phantom Road, Volume 1, we were sold out. We also have Number 2 in stock. Um, I Hate Fairyland, we were sold out of a few things. Um, Number 3 is back in stock, and there is Volume 6, Knights, uh, if you're into vampire stuff. I did want to give this one a read. It's sitting on my nightstand, and I didn't know about this, Snow Angels by Jeff Lemire and Jock. It's uh, sci-fi. I'm excited. I, another thing I do want to read, but it's two volumes, um, and that's all the story is. So if you've heard of this, how come I didn't hear of it? New comics. See you next week. Also, we are going to be closed Friday through Sunday. We're going to BC. So Wednesday and Thursday is the only days we're open. Sorry about these two weeks going back to back. But anyway, new comics. Live, 8 o'clock, every Tuesday, online, thecanadiancomicbin.com.